Ah, I see it. It's not in the hole. I just, I just, uh, wow, look at that, guys. Hey, guys, loaded up, fixing to head out. The, uh, the juke joint ghost town place that we've been hunting and really killing it really good. Uh, it's kind of paid out the last uh, the last hunt really wasn't a lot there went five hours and found two coins but the landowner just called me she's been doing some clear cutting back at the end of her property she owns like several hundred acres and she told me that there's a huge like a 200 year old oak tree there and they found another well and so she thinks there's uh, two house sites back on her land and uh, so uh, she called me up and uh, told me i could go out there at any time so it's a beautiful day today. I'm loaded up and I'm headed that way. And so I'll see you guys out in the field. All right, down here on location now. Uh, it's a 200 year old tree at least. And they're all up and down through here. So there could be multiple house sites out here. But this is the one she's telling me about. Somewhere around over in there is a well. And I haven't found it yet. I'm still looking for it. And But it's a well here that has to be a house site here. And it just looks like a house site. So uh, let's uh, get suited up. Let's get out there. Let's start digging and find something. We'll show it to you. So let's get to sweep. All right, just working myself around this tree, kind of doing a circle around and just kind of widening my circle a little bit more and a little bit more. And uh, I got my first target here. Well, it's not my first target. I dug a shotgun shell, some iron, some fence, and aluminum can. But this is my first good deep target. Ringing up a 14. What could 14 be? It was a shotgun shell a while ago. So let's see what we got here. Ah, see it right there. What is that? Y'all see that? What is that? It's a brass token. Luxury tax token. What is that? Alabama. Alabama. Let's see if I can get a little bit clearer. Alabama luxury tax token. Well, that's going to date this at least to the 30s. And so maybe you'll find some good stuff. Let's keep on going. I just started. Not too far. Right back there was that uh, token. I just came in a straight line. I'm getting a 23 to 25. About four to six inches deep. Right there. A lot of roots in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see it right there. It's going to be a beat up great seal button. Tell you what. All the finds that we have been finding in this soil, in this land, has just been very good. It's treated it very well. No acid or anything in this soil. All right, I'll take that. That may be uh, World War II. It could be World War I. I don't know. Let's just sit it right there. And let's keep on rolling. It's a 17. I have no clue what a 17 might be up in these roots. Oh, okay. Check this out, guys. Nice. Check that out. 
Get off of there. Got some spider webs on him. You know what that is? That is a lead toy. Those date back into the 30s as well. I wish, hopefully, there's a whole set of them out here. That would be so cool. But yeah, that definitely is going to be 30s and before. Let's just get a picture. This is turning out to be a pretty good site. I mean, I dug that site there and then just right there and right there. I've just been making a walk in a straight line and just going to start making a circle around the tree, start wide and tighten into the tree. Because you know what they say about old trees. You always hunt the old trees, don't you? I'm always drawn to them. So hopefully there's some silver. I ain't got any coins out here yet. So uh, let's get a picture of this baby and let's keep on rolling. Well, I got a screamer here. It's actually two tones in there. One deep tone. And then one shallow tone. 25 there. And a, about a 20 right there. That's weird. I think it's two targets or one target. Let's just dig a big hole here. Oh, roots are horrible. Root right there in the middle. I see something. something. Oh. Ah, check it out. Maybe that's why it's giving me two signals. Sometimes these things are broken, cracked. I found that uh, other toy right over there. So I must be right in the, the main house site. But uh, it's got two wheels on it. I don't think the back wheels are there. Tootsie toy. There we go. A Tootsie toy. I like those things. I got a collection of them. All right, let's uh, get a picture and let's keep on rolling. Don't want to stop this uh, flow. It's going good. It's getting real choppy. A 17, 18. I dug over here, then I dug over here. Couldn't find it. Can y'all see it? I'll give you a second to find it. Can you see it yet? Yep. If you guessed that right there, that's what's going to be. Going to be an old, old pocket knife. No telling how old that is. Probably early 1900s. I'll take them though. I like these relics. This is turning out to be a good relic yard. I haven't gotten any coins yet. I'm really hoping to get into some coins. But I haven't done too much yet. I've just done this one side. I haven't uh, got around that tree yet. And uh, so I've got plenty of time. I've got permission to come back on this anytime I want to come on here. So we'll I'll just keep going. Let's see what else we find. Well, is this a sign that this is going to be a good yard? I tell you what, anytime Preacher Digger can get this, it's an episode. I like this. And if you know what I'm talking about when it's an episode, you know what it is. Guess what it is? Let me turn you around, let me show you. I'm just still working my way up through there. Came in and just kind of working this side right through here. I dug my last target there and got a 12, 13. I didn't live dig it because real, real jumpy. You know, I just thought it was going to be another shotgun head stamp. But check this out. It's got a little bling on it too. Look at this. I got Jesus again. I got a cross, a crucifix. Got a little bit of bling on it. It doesn't look precious. I don't think it's precious. I don't know. It's got something written right down here on the bottom. Italy. Uh, it doesn't look silver or gold. It might have been gold plated. It just looks you know, like junk, but 
uh, a great treasure. I like it when Preacher Digger gets across. All right, let's keep on going. Folks, this is turning out to be a very good yard. I'm glad that uh, owner called me up um, and told me about this site. And these, these have these big old trees here, and they're all the way down through here. And I'm just wondering, is this not an old house site, you know, through here? Um, at least two spots, this one and one more down by the gate. I'll test it on another day. But uh, I came over here by this ant bed and got a very, very faint signal. Didn't live dig it because it was just real scratchy and real faint. And you can see that it's at least eight, seven inches deep is how deep it was. And I just popped it up and I just saw the edge of it right there. Still in the coin ball. Anybody want to take a guess what it is? Excuse me, I had to wipe my nose. I love it when you're looking at coins like that. That's bigger than a dime. So it's going to be a quarter. Is it going to be a Washington quarter? Is it going to be a seeded quarter? Is it going to be a barber? Everything we've been digging out here has been barbers on the other side. So let's see. That is a barber quarter. Check that out, guys. Eight. 1992 first year first year barber quarter oh yeah that looks good coming out nice and clean got a little black toning on it that looks really good that's promising there may be more out here i'll tell you nugget noggin got his share of big silver and my friend jason got his share of big silver and i've dug some barbers quarters but i have not got a half and so, or a gold coin or anything else, but all right, I'll take this any day. Let's keep on rolling. All right. A 20 at six inches deep. A 20 at six inches deep. That could be Indian. We know that we're in the barber range, so we're gonna be in Indian range or old Wheaties one. So, roots I see it right there root right there oh yeah that's gonna be a one cent that's an old Indian great shape too usually they come out of here looking pretty rough but all the Indians and all the coins out of this ground has been looking really really good all right I'll take that that's promising there's going to be some more coins. Coins are seen to be on this side of this tree. And the relics seem to be on that side of the tree. So I don't know if the house sat right over there and this was the front yard and this is where they sat underneath for shade. And they faced the road that's right behind me. And see there's a road right here. Or did they face that way? I don't know. But either way, I'll take it. Let's keep on rolling. All right, I'm getting some good signals here. I'm getting several signals. Hear that? Put it up here a little closer to my... Getting several signals there, all coming in high tones, like a wheat penny, jumping all around. That's just... Uh, Right there, let's just dig a big, uh, let's just dig a big hole and see what this is. A lot of trash in here. I've been digging lots of trash. All oh, these roots are horrible. a weedy yep one cent swinging up this is a 1944 it's gonna be a later dates here let's uh, lay that over on the horse manure yep there's number two one cent 19 
1956. I can't read it anyway. Now that's number two. There's number three. A little greeny. I can't tell, can y'all? that 50 yeah it's gonna be a later later uh little weedy spill you got there's another one right there let me wrap it off and you'll see the date on that one that looks like an old one doesn't it is that 1910 or 1919 1919 so it's going to be a later spill with an old one in it ah gosh here we go a five weedy spill i'll take that let's see if i can rub that date 19 i can't tell i'm gonna have to clean them up later and see Anyway, there's five Wheaties. Double check one more time. Let me get my detector and do it. That's trash I'm hearing. All right. Well, there they are, folks. Five Wheaties spill. Let's get some pictures and keep on rolling. I'm taking a break right now. It's a little warm. It's only about 72, but I'm just not used to land hunting in the heat. I like the fall, and uh, I've got a couple of more hunts. I've got this hunt, and I may come back and hunt that other site. I don't know. I may just save that till the fall, come back over there in the fall, and have a good place to hunt. This place is still it's producing. It's producing coins on this side of the tree, on the left side here. But on the, on the right side of the tree, I mean, on the left side, it's producing more relics. So it had to be where the house was sitting in the angle or something like that. But all right, I got my drink in me. Let's get back there. Let's see what else we can find. And a good target here. 24. Jumps up to a 27. It's showing it to be very deep. <laughs> Drinking up really good. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. I felt something. Maybe it'll be a big piece of brass or something. Right there. Oh, I hit a rock. That's what it was. Ah, there it is. Y'all see that? That looks like one dime. One dime. That's going to be Barber. Yeah. Pretty toned out Barber. What's the date on that? 1900 Barber. About. It was pretty deep. Yeah, at least seven inches. At least seven inches. All right. That's good. I'm liking this silver. I'm liking this sight. Oh, look how big that tree is. It doesn't do justice on camera. It's got to be at least five feet in diameter. It's got to be at least 200, 300 years old. Look at that. That is huge. No telling how many people have sat right out here in the shade. Right on the corner. This is a corner. A road right here and a road going this way. Perfect house location right here all right let's get some pictures of this beautiful barber just swinging around this big old tree check this out that's going to ring up 3031 right there all right let's uh see what we got here 
Oh. Big root down in there. The only thing bad about digging around these trees is the roots. Still in the hole. That's a good sign when they're that number and they're that deep. That is a, I tell you what, instead of popping it out, just in case, this is going to be a good find. Let's just kind of see if we can dig down to it. And the root. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right beside that root. See that? That's going to be a quarter. That's got to be a quarter. Let's pop that baby out. Where'd it go? Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. I'll lay it right up there. Yep. Barber quarter. Man, I love these quarters. Well, oh, they're toned out black. They look pretty. Let's see what date that's going to be. 19, 1900. That's what we're going to get. And that was about uh, five inches. Five inches down. Just about... I don't know, maybe eight feet away from the tree. So I'm gonna hunt this tree pretty good here and see what we come up with. All right, I just dug that quarter over there, still working around this tree. And uh, just seeing what else all out here. Check this out, I got a really good. It's kind of jumpy. 31, 32 about eight inches deep probably about six inches so uh let's live dig this one let's get our mark right there and uh let me get my other camera set up and recording all right let's dig this baby ah those roots Problem digging around these big trees, you gotta dig around big roots. That's a good sign. Still deep, about eight inches. Let's get these. Roots here out of the way. Still down there. Ah, I see it. It's not in the hole. I just, I just, uh, wow, look at that, guys. That is a, is that a quarter? No, it's a half. That's going to be a barber half, guys. Barber half. All right. Check that out. What year is that? 1899 barber half. Right out here by this big old tree. Check that out. Wow. All right, Nugget Noggin. I got mine, Jason, I got mine now. 1899 Barber Half, right out here. Uh, the big old 250 year old tree. I would do it every time on it. Wow, what a day, what a killer day. It does it. All right, let's, let's put that right there. Let you see it up close and hold it steady. Woo! Man, this has been a killer, killer yard. What a day, a killer day. That's probably what I'm going to call this video. What a killer day. Two quarters, barber dime, barber half, 
Oh, what else did I get? The crucifix. I got the the toy lead soldier, the toy car. I got a lot of stuff. Well, it's been a good day. This was a good sight. Uh, she told me to come down here and the landowner that is to hunt this big tree. And there it is. And she was right. There was an old house site here. I haven't found the well. I'm still looking for it. I think it's going to be more up here. But uh, that just means there's going to be more trips out here. So uh, I'm done for the day because I want to try to get out of here without busting another tire because I already got my spare on. And there's these little twigs things sticking up. They poke the tire out. But anyway, let us uh, let me spin you around. Let me show you my finds for the day. Anyway, it's been a good day. Here are the finds. Uh, I found a Tootsie toy. I don't know. That's probably 1940s, like a, some type of panel truck. I uh, always loved digging those. Found an old pocket knife. Found an old toy soldier. And I didn't find any more of them. Still got the spider web on it. So you get that off. I'll clean it up later on. Something's on it. And uh, found a great seal button. Probably World War II. I don't know. It could be World War I. These could be very early. Found a nice little crucifix there. Still has the name on it. Found an Alabama tax token, five cents. Uh, I got that weedy spill, and I haven't looked at all the dates on that. Some of them were later on, so it's going to be a later on uh, spill. I did get that one Indian head, 1900. And uh, the best finds of the day were my silver. I got a 1900 barber dime. Uh, no mint mark on that one. Uh, there, there it is. And I've got a 1892 and a 1900 barber quarters. And do you see I got an O mint mark on that one? So a 1900 O. Is that going to be a good key mint? I have to look that up. But the find of the day is this 1899. I didn't see a mint mark on it. Um, no, it's pretty worn out. But $18.99, barber half. It's been a while since I had a barber half, but I'll take them any day, any day. And so there's all the trash, and here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find at old home site. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.